Hello and welcome back or welcome to Myth Finance if this is your first time on the channel. So today we're going to go and have a look over some more Excel basics. So let's get straight into it as always. So the first thing I'm going to do is to search for Microsoft Excel. So if you find that in the dashboard. And here, when the file first opens, you've got quite a few options to choose from. So you've got this home tab, a new tab, and an open tab. So if I go to new here, I can actually select a template if I wish to. So I could select personal monthly budget, seasonable illustrated calendar. And if you keep scrolling down, there's quite a few more. So what I'm going to do here is actually select blank workbook. So this here will give me a brand new workbook. So if you're not familiar with the terminology of Excel, this is a workbook and these here, these tabs at the bottom, are known as worksheets. So what I'm going to do is just save as, save to my documents and call this Miss Finance Tutorial 2 just like that. So if you ever want to save a file, there's two ways that you can do this. So you can either hit Control S on your keyboard, and I'll show that up on screen here, or you can go to File, Save, and it'll save the file as is. But if you want to make a copy of it, so say if you want to keep one version, but you want an updated version as well, that's where you'd click File, Save As. Find a location that you want to save the file down using this Browse feature here. Or, if you've used a recent file, it should come up here on the right and you can select there. So down at the bottom here, as I've mentioned, we've got these tabs. So these worksheets. So if I was to select this, if I was to double click it with my mouse, using the left of my mouse, I can rename this. So I could call this Summary. And I can double click on sheet 2 and rename that as detail. There is another way that I can do this though, so if I clicked on summary and I right clicked, here I get a list of options. So I could actually rename the sheet from here and to click out of it I just click anywhere on the sheet itself. And there's a couple of other things I can do from here, so I can either insert a new one and it'll give me this pop-up box here where I just click worksheet, click OK, and it gives me a new sheet right here. Or I can delete this sheet by right clicking again, hitting delete, and it's gone just like that. Another thing I can do is I could protect the sheet. So I could actually say what I want this sheet to be protected by. So if I don't want somebody to be able to format cells, columns, rows, insert anything etc. I would select all of these but if I just don't want them to massive any locked or unlocked cells I could just create a password that only I would have access to which would allow them to read the file in read only but not be able to actually amend the sheet. Another thing you can do is you can actually hide the sheet so if you right click and hide then you can see that you can't actually see the summary sheet at all and to get that back, I just right click and unhide. And there I'll have a list of any hidden sheet worksheets. So if I select summary here and click OK, this will come back. The other thing that I can do here is if I want to make a change on all tabs in a certain cell, for instance, if I wanted to write year ended the 30th of June 2020 here, but I wanted that to be on every single one of my sheets. What I can actually do, you can see here that the detail tab doesn't have that on, so it's only affected this summary sheet. However, if I just delete that by hitting delete on my keyboard, if I was to right click and select all sheets here, and then I started typing, And cell A1. If I then right click and ungroup sheets, 
you'll see that on the detail tab that information is now appearing there too so let's do it again so if I select all sheets and then here I write profit and loss on group go to the detail tab you can see it's there so if I did this here call this income statement without grouping the tabs without selecting all the tabs then you can see that's not pulled through onto the detail tab so that's a very useful way if you're creating a template and you want that to be reflected across all tabs the other thing you can do is if you've created a template on this first summary sheet that you like say let's just put in a very simple example Say if I decided that I like this template here and I want to replicate that on just another sheet but I don't want to have to copy this information over all I need to do is click right click on the summary tab click move or copy select the summary tab here select create a copy and click OK and that will give me a second tab that's exactly the same as this summary so all I need to do then is rename this by right clicking hit rename and let's call it data. Now another functionality within Excel is that you can move these worksheets. So say if I want this data tab over here, I can move that there. If you want to create another worksheet very quickly, you can click on this plus at the bottom here and that will create you some new worksheets. But say if I've got a very large Excel file and I want to be able to move between those worksheets very quickly, I don't want to have to keep moving this along, especially if I've got 100 tabs going on, which can happen in finance, as we know. So a very, very quick way of moving around is if I hit Control on my keyboard and I right click with my mouse just here, it brings me this sheet up here that says Activate. And all it means is that I can very quickly jump to say sheet 8 and it'll take me there. So if I do that again, control, right click, click on summary, it'll take me to the summary tab. So let's imagine that you've got even more tabs on this worksheet, so let's keep creating them. It doesn't matter if they're not in order. So there's just enough here that this bar here now covers all of the tabs. So here I've got the summary tab, but again, imagine if I want to go right to the end, the very, the very last tab, I can have a right click and then select sheet 10 and it'll take me there. Or another very quick way that I can get back to the first sheet from the last sheet here is by hitting control and hitting this little arrow and that'll take me right to the start so if I click on summary here I can do this again the other way by hitting control and hitting this little right arrow here and it takes me right to the end so I can easily select that tab or I can keep hitting this right arrow and it'll move this scroll along so that's just a very quick tour of Excel and some more functionality that you can use, especially when you're in finance or any other business, to be honest. But I really hope that you found that useful. Please do consider subscribing as always. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I shall see you on the next video.